I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it does mean that Perfect is feeling great. BD's playing an old favorite here, and playing the Jin Zhao into Vagar can be quite challenging, as when you go in for the engage and you look for the ult, how really much event horizon value he will get in this one? Probably a lot. Let's stop on the rift for game number two. You earned it. Yeah. But it's no, difficult it. for some people, actually. <laughs> so up to the rift. But uh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I think Perfect had a great game on the Cassante in game one, even though it was a loss. And he looked comfortable. It's a comfort pick for him. Just take it away. Uh, Aiming and Kellen do know that this dive should be possible. And yeah. Kosik is going to be spotted on yet another ward. He's been seen now twice here, so they definitely know exactly where he is, and now this is just going to be protected here by Deft and Barrel, making sure that he can secure this blue buff away. Yeah. We won't even need to smite for it. No whatever. dive, but an invade Yeah. instead, just to try to get them ahead. Lucid kind of in a weird spot now, not even able to get his own Grom. Uh, although he might... Nope. Oh, yeah, he actually yeah, he did, did get that. Nice. A little bit of an early smite there from Pioshek, unfortunately, as that's a, a lucky break for Lucid, as otherwise he you know, ends up losing a significant portion of his jungle here, uh, just from the bottom prio alone, you could say. Although, many times they are used to win fights elsewhere on the map. As we know, teleport is very valuable. Um, we do have a bit of a tussle once again up on the top side. Ghost is going to be popped here from King in. Actually, they're going to make this happen. Waits for the hop, but the Hyper Prox is coming in, and Perfect is just going to flash the knockup as Lucid is here. Flash on forward from Lucid, and from no hop, he will go down. First blood given over to Kingen. Give wow. Deft, uh, or rather, give Aiming a lot of advance notice while Koshik is doing. Yeah, as Kulang now going to come forward, Deft eating nearly the entirety of that. And now, with a little bit of a roam down from Showmaker, might come through, but they're going to try to take out the Nami first. Q will miss, but it's not going to matter. Kellen flashes and dies immediately. As DK, they were trying to set up a bait here on the Pyoshik, but they will lose their Nami very early on. Can they take out Pyoshik is the real question. As we're Lucid just going to throw that ult in early on and will take him out. Now the follow-up here on to Aiming, as Event Horizon will come down and zones everybody away. And he gets kicked the other way, and then they just turn on to Pyoshik, and it's just a one for zero, right? Um, oh, that extension on the stun is going to be huge. The all-out comes out, and Perfect with no Meganar in sight. He's going to try to get away from this one. It's not going to happen as now Pyoshik comes on in, and Kingen picks up a solo kill this time around. Really, yeah. And that does mean that DK are going to try to make a move for this. Let's see when the TPs come in, as it is in the pit, Lucid. Just trying to zone this one away, but it goes to the forest. Death going to smite it himself with this Q. As now trying to turn on the Showmaker, the damage not quite there. In goes Pyoshik, immediately gets shuffled out. And that might just be the end of this one, although they're trying to chase down King in here. The hook is going to come in, and Event Horizon will be good enough. They take out the Kassante. It's a shutdown for Pyoshik and KT right back in this game. They want more here, but I don't know about this. Oh boy, the kick over the wall, and Pyoshik just going to flash away from the last little bit of that one. As here comes Lucid thinking about it, but this series just is gonna live up to the the yep. KTD plus hype, isn't it? It's it's just gonna live up to it. It just it just is. Um, it, to get away from some of the other forms of CC. There oh, it look is. at that angle! Oh god! And he's gonna hook the wall with Barrel. Otherwise, he was dead. Kind of a sharp angle there. Not really Barrel's fault, but a very nice E there. As another hook does come in, the ult off the Showmaker, but he immediately goes down. It's a trade though. As the mid laner DK goes away, and now King in, he is stuck in the box. And that will be the end of him. A two for one in favor of KT. Yeah. Now, Pyoshik is still going to look for the steal. As he is leaves in, he's got a very nice angle. He's looking for the kick. He wants the kills right into the cage. Goes aiming, and down he goes. As now Lucid is going to be able to pick up the Drake, but it's three kills to the side of KT. A big team fight win for them. Kill for BDD, a kill here. A fourth one for Pyoshik, who sets it all up with a kick on to aiming. They want more here. Showmaker does have his ultimate, so this is very tricky to play out. Oh, perfect. He's going to get caught here. Goes a bit early, but OK, finally traded back as the dive is going to go the way of KT eventually, right? OK, they finally traded two for two. It's a double kill for Showmaker. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to name any names that have waited many, many items. In fact, all of the items to just not build it. Uh, but I'm sure he will. Perfect now in a little bit of trouble. Actually, a lot of trouble as the bubble is going to come through here as well. And King is just tanking up the turret. And that is a kill fed over to aiming. I think DK have identified, hey. Perfect does not have TP. There's no way KT can stick this butt. Uh, OK, just run in a straight line. And maybe you avoid it all. But yeah, he's just dead. Crescent Guard not going to save him there. Um, no vision and just desperation. And the Gnar, the mini Gnar coming on in, and 
As you mentioned, no flip because Lucian should not be here. The Event Horizon is placed down. They're looking for the turn now. King in is taking it up, and so is Barrel. And guess what? The Cassante is much tankier than the Nautilus. And in the trade, DK will happily take that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not a farming Nautilus. This is not a Centilene. You're not tanky enough to make that play. Barrel wanted to get on the backside there and potentially grab a carry. Should have it back here in about 10 seconds. But let's see how this one does go in as Lucid, speaking of which, is going to uh, just charge on in as now the hook will be dodged. Pretty hard to lock down the Lucian. Okay, see if this third event horizon is going to be enough to get them something here. BDD should have it in a second. There it is. Ooh, it's going to go the way of Lucid, though, as he does take it down. Meanwhile, it does look like we have a sacrificial showmaker who does take a massive ult to the face. Yeah, he thought he got out of there, but the Vagar ult will get you every time if it's triggered before you slide. Without a miracle here, I mean, Kellen doesn't have ult. Showmaker is down for 20 seconds, even with TP. This is just a pipe dream. Kellen's going to try, or rather, King is going to try to flank. Yeah, they're going to send it 15 seconds until Showmaker is even alive. As will the seal come through, Lucian goes in, he steals it away! Away from Elise Sin, how does he manage to do that? As the flip comes through, and King, and he's still having some fun on the backside of this one. Eventually he goes down, but merely a Cassante moment, but it's a DK moment regardless. I mean, Lucian is, I mean, Cage here, once again, not going to be too high value. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's kind of like Blitzcrank in a way where it might just come down to one giant cage that, like, turns the game. As calling is actually going to be what gets huge value in this one. You see, Lucid did take a huge chunk as well. Some Q's hitting the front line here. And BDD is really beginning to hurt. You know, he had an Amp Tome in his inventory. I was a bit worried, but as you mentioned, he is going for the Death Cap, thankfully. Yeah, well, it's uh, critical. It's not a, the carries. So they just gave it away. Question. Okay. Um, they're just going to fight instead, I guess. The Chain of Corruption comes through, and Pyoshik is just going to get stunned here on the front line. Not going to engage on that one, but now the Gnar into the wall. But that's Lucid on the Shinzhou. Takes zero damage. In goes Pilshik and Barrel once again. But the damage is coming out here from Depth and BDD to push them away. Aiming not quite able to get access to that back line. And now it's Showmaker gone. Does look like DK does not want to follow up on this one. No, the real prize of the Dragon, though, is uh, Barrel. Or you could just face check in. That might just work. They're going to trade Cassante for Nautilus. And Barrel will take that. Kellen looks like he's just fish food at this point in time. He's going to be putting the cage flashes away as a few lands. And once again, in goes Pilsic, but he's going to be taken out by Lucian, who flashes away and gets away from the enemy team. Yeah, they do have a very nice amount of poke if they can get in range. DK currently in control of this bottom river as KT looks to push ahead as it's Deft alone on the backside. He's just being assassinated by aiming, and one Q will get the job done, and immediately the Varus is just gone. And that should be the Dragon going over to D+, plus on the flank. Yeah, Banana Breast Control on this side is going to go the way of KT, of course, but they're down a member as aiming is looking to come on in. Pyoshik on the flank here. And it might actually work out if Aiming just gonna face check this one, and now it's his turn to get caught the 280 carries! Just being isolated and killed for essentially nothing. And King and lost half his health bar. Barrel's going in! Oh, he's going in. I'm not sure about that one, but if he can bait a big fight for his team, it might be the answer. But he is being chipped away, and down he will go, but the stun comes in, it's Mikhail's to save King and now Showmaker gets in with the shuffle into that back lane. They take out the event horizon player that is the Vagar. And and is taken back. Out, but now Deft is here, Perfect's here, they're on the chase, and Lucid doesn't have an ult. He's going to be taken out as... Back to Aiming's play here, where he sees Deft on the edge, pops his bubble there, yeah, pops, pops, and it goes for the flash. Yeah, pops, pops, he's pops. Like, got him, got him. Pops, 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 pops. Got got okay. Somebody's got to get vision. They're not getting vision. The damage is being done right now. Look at KT already about to take out the Baron, and DK do nothing about it. They use two of their trinkets. DK, a little bit more prior than we thought they'd have going to this. Aiming has Cleanse and Scimitar, so he can play aggressively like this. Oh, man. We'll regularly pick this one up. Guma as well, because just a huge amount of poke damage hey. as uh, the cage is already down. The damage is being done. They're just going to take it away. It's Hextech Soul to the side of KT, and it's another objective that D plus Key are just going to give away. Hey, we're Yoshik. Not... Yeah, he's, uh, he's hiding on Bush, and this is some of the ways he's been able to get huge plays for his team, but this time it's a Cassante that he finds, not the uh, best target, but it's still enough damage with the Vega at this point in time, and now Perfect on the Meganar looking for the 
Forward play, he's gonna get this flash on in onto Lucid, who is caught out and slowed for pretty much forever and has to flash away. Now aiming uh, is dead. Okay, well that was not the angle he was looking for. That is, that's, <laughs> is that just game? I think it is, right? No, they, they don't have enough minions. Media's gonna push this wave in. They don't have Baron buff either. Showmaker is getting in there desperately trying to keep this wave away from the turret. Uh, but there is a cannon wave, a cannon minion rather, and that should be enough. All right, nice try, Showmaker, to clear that wave. Would have bought them enough time maybe for aiming to come back, but not going to uh, happen. Okay, well, that's the end of him as well, as one by one the dominoes fall, and KT, they are going to win at this game at number two, and we absolutely have a series all over our hands. And I don't even know what this is going to look like for the rest of it. Who's going to win? Nobody knows, but KT wins game number two. And then it's just desperation aiming. He's like, maybe I get a flank. Maybe I do enough damage on full build. If I can get that angle on BDD, maybe I kill him. The problem is BDD had the angle on you. Uh, and Deft is able to, to launch a, a arrow into his face. He dies. And then Showmaker's like, well, 